Hello, today I'll be taking a look at this music label Convoy. So I'd made a stop motion video with uh, this Convoy in it and uh, someone was wondering why the head was different so I thought I'd make a video just to show it off. So this is the box. You can see he uh, originally came in this white color and then they made a second version uh, with this more G1 accurate color scheme which is the one that I have but apparently they didn't change the box at all. They just put a sticker here. And uh, yeah, so here's the front of the box. Here's the top. The side, not much on the side. And the back, more product shots. And the bottom. Here are some other music label products. There's the sound waves, which I have this sound wave. Um, and there's a Rumble and Frenzy, I think they're uh, headphones, but I don't have these ones. Yeah, so here's the box. And here he is. Comes in this clear plastic clamshell. And... He also comes with this power adapter and this promotional paper and an instruction booklet. So let's take a look at him. He comes with his typical uh, iron blaster here. There's no paint on it. He comes with his fist. And here's the cab, here's the trailer. So the trailer doesn't transform into a battle station or anything, it transforms into speakers. So that's why it has this hole here. It's, uh, it's for your iPod to go in here, uh, if you have an iPod. There's also an additional option. There's this auxiliary in that you can plug your device into. And here's the uh, slot for the power adapter. And you can rotate these stabilizers down. So now it can stand. And there are these volume buttons here and there's a power button and this is just an Autobot logo I'm not sure if it does anything it looks like a button but you can't press it these ones you can press and then to transform this into the speaker mode you just lift this up flip it over and there's some graphics here And here's the Prime. In alt mode, it just looks like a normal G1 Prime. You can see that the red here is nicely painted. And these Autobot logos are tempo graphed on. And it has tinted blue windows instead of the light yellow like the normal G1. So you can see that he has stickers here, but he actually didn't come with stickers. I had bought these stickers from Repo Labels, and now they're called Toy Hacks, I think. So to transform him, it's just like the original G1 Prime, unlike the Missing Link, which is a little bit more complicated. So just fold down his legs, 
flip up his feet, rotate out the forearms, flip out the shoulders, and flip up the head. And then attach his fist. And then you can give him his gun. There he is. Fully transformed into robot mode. And here's his head. It's slightly different from the G1 head. It's meant to be more cartoon accurate. Might be a little bit small. It's definitely smaller than the original head. And the head also has some additional articulation. You can, you can rotate it 360. Has a little bit of up move, movement. Uh, not much down, maybe a little bit. And it can wiggle just by the fact that it's on this joint that is not very tight. But uh, I don't think you can permanently put it in a side tilt or anything. And here he is next to a commemorative reissue prime. So you can see that the head is definitely smaller. He might be a little taller. No, it's about the same. And here are the trailers. You can see that the commemorative reissue trailer has the sculpting for these lines and this design on the music label. These look like, or they feel like tampo grass or something. There's, there might be a slight sculpt. I do feel feel something here. But I don't know if it's just like um, if the tampographs were very specific, like that the, the, only the lines are tampographed and not the whole thing. I don't know if that's possible. Um, it's what it feels like. See, similarly on the other side. Obviously the back, this has a door, the other one doesn't. Top. Bottom. So let's take a look at uh, the music feature on this. So first you're going to want to plug in the power cable. And then you're going to need this cable with headphone plugs on both ends. I guess it depends what device you'll be using. The one I'll be using will require this cable. Uh, this cable is not included. So just plug that into here. So I just remembered that the cool thing about the music label products is that you can use them together. So I do have a music label sound wave and you can use this to play music uh, into these speakers. So the sound wave has this 
headphone jack here. You just want to plug this cable into that. And then you can put I think it's a micro SD into the sound wave. Actually, maybe it's not a micro, it's a mini, sorry, it's a mini SD. And then you need to turn on the speaker. And this Autobot symbol lights up. So then to turn on the sound wave, you want to hold down the play button. And then you have this blue light blinking here. I'm going to talk over the music so that I don't get a copyright strike. The song that's playing is obviously a very famous Transformers song from Transformers the movie. So the audio quality is not the best. You can see this uh, speaker is already like uh, bouncing, I guess. You don't want the volume to be too loud. Again, I'm gonna talk over the music to hopefully avoid copyright strikes. So it's pretty soft, the volume's pretty low. So it's really just a novelty, it's not, I don't think it's a practical uh, speaker. So I found another thing to test this out with, a Walkman. I don't know if that's some sort of uh, age validation. And I have this tape here, Aerosmith, big ones. So let's see uh, how well this works. In case those of you who don't know what uh, a Walkman looks like, here's what it looks like on the inside. There's these uh, things here that uh, will spin the magnetic tape. And then, I don't know, this mechanism up here will play it somehow. Then I just want to plug the cable into the headphone jack. Uh, I think it's this one. So then to play the tape, you just press the play button. Seems to work much better with this Walkman. Pretty cool. Let's see, fast forward. So, with the Walkman, you can't skip tracks. You have to actually fast forward the tape to the right position, and you don't know where that is. That is the life of uh, using a Walkman. So for all you kids, you can see uh, how we had to play music back in the day. So there you have the music label Optimus Prime and also the music label Soundwave. And I think that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.